The usual din of a Paris Friday night was silenced first by gunshots. What followed was terrified confusion. How many dead and injured isn't clear yet, just that there are dead, many of them, where just a little earlier were people simply out for dinner. But reports were coming in from several corners of a panicked Paris. And quickly, it all began to point to what appears to be a calculated multi-target assault. They, whomever they might be, reportedly armed with Kalashnikovs and possibly grenades. And police now confirm included two suicide bombers. They blew themselves up near the national stadium in the midst of a France-Germany game the sound of one explosion caught here on camera. The country's president, who was in the crowd, was taken to safety. He then addressed the nation. As I speak, terrorist attacks of an unprecedented extent are taking place in wider Paris, says François Hollande. There are dozens of dead, many injured. It is a horror, he says. Still, bizarrely, the game went on. But when it was over, some 70,000 fans were kept inside the stadium for their safety. The night would still turn darker in yet another corner of the city. At a popular theater packed with concert goers, it appears gunmen had taken hostages, some reportedly tweeting messages of desperation. Police moved in, killing at least two of the attackers. But what they left behind is carnage. Dozens are dead. Tonight, Parisians have been asked to stay home, while Hollande told them he's asked for military reinforcements to prevent any other attacks. Nala Ayad, CBC News, London.